Hey, what's going on? Welcome back, or welcome if this is your first time here. Today we're going to be checking the automatic transmission fluid on a third generation Subaru Forester. Uh, the Forester here that we're working on is a 2010. If I'm not mistaken, this should also work on an Impreza, an Outback, uh, most other Subarus of this era. Uh, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to flip the camera around, I'm going to show you where the dipstick is located, and then I want you to follow along because there's a process you need to follow to accurately check your automatic transmission fluid. So let's flip this camera around, uh, let's take a look at where it's located, and then we'll get to work, all right? All right so I got my light here, got a nice bike cruising by. All right, so let's take a high level look, all right? Here is the overview. That's a nice bike. Here's the overview of the entire engine, okay? As you can see, so you know, you got your, got your washer fluid, coolant, oil, all right, let's zoom in and let's get in a little closer. Let's go to the back. It's kind of tough to see deep in there. Okay, it's gonna be down and to the left of the brake fluid. So here's the brake fluid reservoir. Look down here, it's deep in here, all right? Way down in there. All right, so what you're gonna do is I'm gonna run you through the process on what we actually have to do to accurately check the automatic transmission fluid. All right, so stick around. Okay, so here we are. We are inside of the Forester. So we're gonna put the key in the ignition. And you want to do this with the vehicle running, preferably with the engine warm. So let's turn it on. And I'm gonna let this run for a few minutes, let the engine warm up, uh, and then we'll jump back in here and I'll show you what we have to do to check this automatic transmission fluid. All right, we've had the car running for quite a while now. Got the engine nice and warm, all right, nice and hot. And what we're gonna do now is check it out. You're gonna put your, you're going to engage your parking brake. Pull that on, put your foot on the brake, all right? Put your foot on the brake and you're gonna go through your gears. All right, so put it in reverse, neutral, all right, drive go this way, upshift, down. Right. And then we'll go back around, all right? We'll go here here, here, all right. And now we're going to head out to the to the engine compartment, to the engine with the engine still running, all right? So make sure it's in park, make sure your parking brake's on, then take your foot off the brake, all right? Now let's go check it out. Okay, so for this, you're gonna want some paper towels, all right? So that you can obviously check the levels. And we're just gonna go in here and get some gloves on. It's kind of messy up in here. You're gonna reach in. Pull it out once, clean it off. Always do it, wipe it off, all right? I'm gonna stick it back in. Now we're gonna look here real quick too. I'm gonna show you this. Um, let's zoom in on here. Let's zoom in here. Okay, there we go. All right, let's take a look here. So, let's look. We've got cold low, cold full, hot low, hot full, all right? So if your engine's cold, we're looking down here. If your engine's hot, we're looking up here, okay? Right there. So let's check it out. Engine's hot. Let it sit there for a moment. Pull that out. We check it. As you can see here, my Forester's not in good shape, all right? I am at even low for cold, and this engine's hot. So what we're gonna have to do is, I'm gonna do a quick top off, I'm gonna top this off, and then we should be good to go, all right? So that's how you check the automatic transmission fluid in a Subaru Forester. Okay, so I just wanna be really clear about one thing real quick before we wrap everything up here. How I said I'm going to top this off with automatic transmission fluid. Now the only reason I'm doing that is because I know why the transmission fluid is low, and that's because one of the clamps on uh, my return or intake line for the transmission fluid is really loose and I've identified the leak. If you don't know why your transmission fluid is low, and it's as low as it showed on mine, call a mechanic, 
call a professional, have them take a look, because I'm no expert and I'm not gonna tell you fill it all the way back up if there's something else that's causing that leak, all right? So if this video helped, make sure you think about hitting that like button. It'll help get some more views, get some more attention. We can do more videos. And definitely think about hitting subscribe and turning on those notifications. I'll talk to you guys later. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment. Take care of each other. Be kind. Peace.